hospitality is not a mere catchword among Filipinos. It is custom and tradition and a way of life. So when friends came calling from across the seas, the traditional welcome mat was rolled out, this time with greater warmth and brighter cheer. For our friends were members of the American Junior Red Cross on a tour of the Far East. Our visitors were led by Ms. Marjorie Smith, Director of Junior Red Cross at Louisville, Kentucky. Antonio Izquierdo, a Puerto Rican, speaks in Spanish to his audience. The group included Beverly Dunn of Fort Worth, Texas, Gregory Goodman of Marrero, Louisiana, Antonio Izquierdo of San Juan, Puerto Rico, Elizabeth Jacquez of Hershey, Pennsylvania, Richard Land of Kansas City, Missouri, John Montgomery of Houston, Texas, Martha Pauls of Morris Plains, New Jersey, Peter Shaw of San Bruno, California, Catherine Swanson of Spokane, Washington, and Jeanette Taylor of St. Petersburg, Florida. Mabuhay to everyone. Following local custom, the visitors laid floral offerings at the tomb of the national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, at the Luneta Park in Manila. To understand their people, one must understand their history. Dr. Rizal led the nationalist movement which ultimately freed the Philippines from Spanish rule at the turn of the century. To understand the people, one must understand their culture, and the synthesis of people's culture is usually found in the National Museum. Here, our guests viewed exhibits which told of Filipinos, their past, their arts, and their crafts. himself spoke to our visitors on these subjects. They were warmly welcomed at the high school department of the Far Eastern University where they had their first taste of Philippine cooking and where the president presented them a Philippine flag as a souvenir of their visit. At the high school department of the Centro Escolar University, they again had a taste of Philippine cooking and were treated to a sampling of Philippine melodies.
Then they went to call on Father Mirasol and his wards at Boys Town, where the kids exhibited their considerable skills at gymnastics for the benefit of the guests. City Red Cross chapter, and Jack responded in their behalf. Here the guests were introduced to local folk dances and more Philippine cooking. In Quezon City, too, our visitors called on General Carlos P. Romulo president of the University of the Philippines and former ambassador to the United States. time in the Philippines is the season for merrymaking, the time when friends from everywhere drop in to share the bounties of earth and to enjoy themselves. There is plenty of food and there is plenty of fun. For our visitors, there was plenty of everything. The company was fine, the food aplenty, and the dancers were very lovely. The dancing inspired memories which these our visitors will bring home with them and they will remain with us the warmth of the friendship and the cheerfulness and brilliance which they radiated. To them, we say, Mabuhay. Thank you. 